Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire 66 I am Mark, your host, your entertainer, and everything possible. Right, so what I'm going to talk about today, well, UK Kraut, I watched UK Kraut's video when he met Chris and, we, and, and Nerdy Geezer, they all went, you know, saw Chris, didn't they? And they asked what was, in your opinion, the worst and the best console and micros. So, I answered that, so I'm, I'm going to do a video to it, and I thought, why not? I might as well just put it all out there. So, so we're talking old consoles here. We're not talking modern. So, what we're talking about is, yeah, you know, like I say, old consoles. So, so, what is the best? Well, the worst and best console. Well, the worst console for me is because I don't understand it. Is I'm sorry to say this, but this will be controversial. The Nintendo 64. For me, I didn't understand it. It's to me, it's a console what didn't need it to exist. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know I mean because it was the last of their cartridge consoles, and it didn't need to. It didn't need it to exist at all. Um, I just don't understand it. I just don't get it. And on that particular thing, what I don't get. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I have had one, and I know what they perform like. You know, they perform. You know. Some games look look awesome, and, and they really do. Uh, and, you know, the GoldenEye was the best GoldenEye at that particular time. It was the best Bond game at that particular time. Obviously, games have moved on, and there's a better Bond out now. But GoldenEye was the gold standard for that game. You know what I mean? And it, it was good, I must admit. But I didn't understand the controller. I found that clumsy and, and um, uncomfortable. In my mind, so that's the worst console for me. The best console for uh, the best console of all time for me is um, Sega Dreamcast, um, which it has a very good plus point. The shape of it, I like the shape. It's futuristic. If they had that shape out today, it won't look out of place. Yeah, you know, looks like something out of Star Trek and something like that. Um, also, it's the first console to go online with dial up and things like that and um, you know what I mean so that's that that and and also I found it it was different you know it it it, it was aiming at a different audience and things like that I I liked it I really did like you know well I do like the Dreamcast and things like that and, and the best game to play on it was Nomad Soul you know it's the best ever game in, in, in my book it's the best game for the Dreamcast, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's only my opinion, obviously. So the Dreamcast is is my best console of all time. What is the worst micro? Now, when they're on about micros, we're on about home computers, obviously. Yeah. So the worst micro computer, which was the worst? Well, it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be the Spectrum ZX48. That it, that was the worst. That is the lowest of the low, in my opinion. You know what I mean? The you know so, uh, and the only reason why I didn't like it is because of the rubber keys, and also it didn't come with a data recorder. You had to get your own recorder and set your own volume, which were very frustrating. I've had one, I, I I've operated one, and I found it very frustrating, especially with keys and like it's all this rubber. Yeah, they want proper keys. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's the worst micro in my mind. The best micro, what I what is what I I have now. This were a toss up between the, the Amiga five hundred and the um, Commodore sixty four, but I've gone. But I'm going with the Commodore sixty four for being the best micro of all time. Is because that was my first micro computer. It was my fir very first one that I played games on. And like everyone else says, there's always a game what you'll find on there what you want to play. And that was correct. Um, so, there you go. There's my chat. The worst console of all time, Nintendo 64. The best console of all time for me, and it will always will be, the Sega Dreamcast. The worst microcomputer is ZX Spectrum 48K. And the best, the best microcomputer of all time, Commodore 64. Because... 
it were a proper keyboard, it had proper keys and it had its own data recorder and, and, and there were lots and lots of games, but that was the very first one I ever had. That's what started me on gaming, basically. Um, everyone thought I was going to go from that to computers, which I should have done. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that, that could be something in the future. You know what I mean? I might ditch all my consoles and go for PC setup. You never know. But yeah, that's what that's my opinion. So what do you think? Put it out to you. So any comments in below? Tell me what is the worst and best console and the worst and best micro. You know what I mean? So that's it. So that's my video for today. And if you've liked this video, please please give me a thumbs up. So please like the video, please subscribe if you're new, and if you are new, you know, please hit the bell and, I, and hit the icon. That will let you know when I'm putting up another, uh, another notification when the video goes up, basically. And also, please, please, please share the video to your friends and family, to Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and Bing. Also, comment below and keep it within the content of this video. It's as simple as that. And I catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Goodbye.